Oh my lordy lord. Look at that. So basically, the oven's in the floor. It's huge. It's like another room. <laughs> That's a whole lamb. A whole, a whole lamb. lamb. Legs off, though, obviously. Yes. I've got it takes about wheel. 40 to 50 uh, lambs at once. 50 yeah. lambs yeah. at once? Yeah. 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 I've, got, yeah. I've got to build myself yeah. one of these. <laughs> and this is a... I've got a big old lump of wood, uh, like, a, like a spit. And then your main man here starts to... Uh, Bismillah, Bismillah. Mm. So apparently the... Um, this man this man keeps feeding me. <laughs> I'm not used to being, being fed by men. Um, can I have uh, one portion for me? Yeah. yeah. Cumin salt. Happy days. Thank you, Hussein. Thank you. <laughs> Have a look at this. Right, this is the Atlas Mountains. Absolutely beautiful. You know, how many places in the world where you can go from a palm tree on the top of a roof to snow on the top of a mountain? <laughs> and what's beautiful about the name Riyadh? Riyadh means little drop in paradise. And because they have inward looking courtyards, you know, down there you've got chaos, you've got scooters, you've got horns going off. You know, you've got donkeys going, there's absolute pandemonium. And then in your Riyadh, there's a little drop of paradise. I just love that. Beautiful. Right, let's cook. So, I'm going to be doing this meshwee lamb. Meshwee meaning roast. If you look at these lamb shoulders here, uh, they're actually quite small. Um, so they're obviously killing them quite young. That's probably six months old, unless it's a small breed or something. And then here we've got smen. Now, absolutely, you can use ghee or um, some butter. Smen is basically a fermented butter, and it's got a slightly cheesy fermented flavour to it, which doesn't sound very appealing. But when you cook with it, it gives it meatiness and gives it a lovely sort of authentic hum. Now, once I've rubbed that all over, I'm going to use some key spices here. A little bit of cumin and a little bit of coriander ground. And then I've got here some pounded up thyme and salt but you could use fresh thyme and salt, no worries at all. So I'm literally going to rub that in all over, really give it the effort. So I'm just going to rub some rosemary into here. Nice little handful, rosemary and lamb, best friends as ever. And some garlic, just going to smash it and just crack them in your hand and just push them on top of the lamb like that. So what I'm going to do is just get some tin foil in there. And then I'm going to put a little swig of water in the bottom. And then what I want to do is I'm going to put this into an oven at full whack. Immediately turn it down to 180 degrees Celsius, or about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And for a shoulder of lamb like this, I'll cook it for about two and a half hours, two hours. And for a normal English side shoulder, um, I'll cook it for about three and a half, four hours, or until it all pulls and it's delicious and tender. Right, let's have a look at this beautiful stuff. OK, so you can see these little babies have shrunk back off the bone. I'm just going to take one whole shoulder and put it on a platter. And you can see when the meat's cooked beautifully, it will just fall off the bone like that. And I'm going to pick this up, put this here. So a whole roast shoulder. But there's not a single ingredient, apart from the smen, you can use butter. You can make this at home and really get that authentic taste. Now, all I do to finish these beautiful lambs off is get some pomegranate, cut it in half, hold your hand like that, get yourself a spoon or something, and put those lovely fresh capsules of pomegranate over the top. You know, that is gonna be absolutely delicious. You know, the little pop sweetness with that lovely poured lamb, bit of spice. And then I just wanna show you how I love to serve it, because for me, this just makes the whole thing a bit of a feast, you know? And like, you know, if you look at the Moroccans, they like dipping and little bits of this and that and the other. So I'm trying to kind of do my version of that. 
So I'm just reheating these flatbreads, 30 seconds. You don't want them crispy. You want it so they sort of like bend like that. And then just like scrunch it up in your hand, put it there, and then just fill it with some beautiful pulled lamb, just like that. And then what I want to do is just get a little bit of yogurt so it's nice and fresh. Smear that across like that, then kind of make a well in the middle like that. And then get some harissa. Now you can buy this everywhere, but it's that salted lemon, chilli little hit. Just dribble it over the middle like that. And then go back to your spices and just put a, a pinch over again. And it's kind of garnished, but also it is freshness. It's definitely there for freshness. Orange and carrot salad's a big thing out here. Take a little wadge of it and just put it in like that. Maybe a few pomegranates. That is a beautiful dish. The Meshmi man, I don't know what you'd make of that, but for me, that's respecting the way he's cooking. I'm doing it in my way. I'm using local ingredients, little links like the carrot and orange salad. And I'm really, really proud of that. I want to eat that. And I ain't sure which is the most pretty, that or that. Chocolate, lovely bit of meat. This is the most crazy market you're ever going to see. There's so, literally two hours ago, there was nothing here. And at five o'clock, to be fair, they let all the market stall holders out. And then they all race to, uh, to set up. Hello, boys. You all right? The thing about this place is it's like an assault of all the senses. The smells, the noise. But the food's incredible. the old lamb's head here, either boiled or roasted. But they've got the two lovely girls here and a big old tongue sitting there. Lovely. There's my boy, let me just give it a little damp. The breast. Wow. Well, <laughs> I'm eating cow's udder at the moment. So exciting, so much noise, so many smells, so many people. Absolutely, absolutely bonkers. And somehow, <laughs> they're all shouting out Gordon Ramsay, Delia Smith. Brilliant. I've got to get out now, no, because too much of this will do me in.